Now, our next award is for the UEFA Women's Coach of the Year. President, if you could please reveal the name of the winner of this award. The winner of the UEFA Women's Coach of the Year is Sarina Wigman. You know, there was so much applause in this arena that um, she almost joined us early. But you know what? We'll give her the applause she deserves at the right time. Please welcome our UEFA Women's Coach of the Year, Serena Wigman. Thank you. <laughs> Come and join us. This is it's heavy. Be careful. Thanks. Thank you very much. Serena, congratulations. Uh, you could feel a lot of love for you in this room, a lot of excitement for you winning this award. Now, we know you came up just short at the World Cup, but you did go into that tournament as European champion. Amazing run of results over the last two years, <clears throat> two major international finals in as many years. Tell us about this incredible run and how proud you are of this team. Yeah, of course, I'm very proud of the team and the staff. Um, and I think um, yeah, it's very special what we've done. It's all about quality, players' quality, staff quality, and the FA who really supports us and gives us all the facilities to perform. And then it comes to connections and growth and clarity, I think. Mm. It was fantastic seeing England progress in the World Cup. We saw you having to tinker with your team and the system and enforce <coughs> you know, substitutions because of injuries and things like that. It was, uh, it was just brilliant to see how the team grew in the competition. But you also made history this year with England winning the finalissima. But your record as England manager is quite incredible. I've got here 39 matches, 30 wins, yeah. just two losses. What do you put that down to? What's sort of the special sort of formula yeah. that makes this all tick? Well, I'm, I'm not really into the st statistics. I'm just trying to become better every day with the team. And was, what I just said is quality of the team and being connected and have a great staff and facilities. And we're just trying to, to become better every day. And of course, there's a lot of work in that and how we want to play and how we want to train, how we tr want to treat each other and have an environment where everyone really can grow uh, and, and then give clarity about roles and responsibilities. And that really works so far. I did want to pick up on what you said now and, and the, the personal element of the inspiration that you've been to a lot of women around the world in your career. You played when you were small, you were a PE teacher, then you make it to a coach and then two-time European champion. When you look back, do you realize the impact that you've had in women's football and what does that mean to you as well, looking at this journey? Yeah, it means so much to me. I, I You know, the World Cup now, was every record was broken and I am... I'm the lucky one who played the World Cup in 88 as a player. That was unofficial at that time. And I thought, well, that would be really great if we can, you know, if I could do that more. But as a player, I never did. And now, I'm, of course, I was at the World Cup with, with England. And the growth of the game, the things that have changed from then till now is just incredible. And I just really enjoy being part of it and have a little contribution. It's a huge contribution, Serena, and it is the reason why you're here. You're the UEFA Women's Coach of the Year. Massive congratulations to you. Thank, Thank you for you. joining us here uh, in you. Monaco this evening. Can I, can I have a message, please? Of course you can. Thank you. Um, well, first of all, thanks, everyone, for voting, especially, the, of course, colleagues. It's really special, and I'm very honoured. Um, also, thanks to everyone who's involved with the Lionesses, of course, the team, the incredible team, players and staff, and the support from the FA. But it also feels a little different. Um, we all know um, the issues around the Spanish team, and it really hurts me as a um, coach, as a mother of two daughters, as a wife and as a human being. And it shows, we just talked about ATA, the, the game has grown so much, but there's also still a long way to go in women's football and in society. And I would like to dedicate this award to the Spanish team the team that played on the World Cup, such great football that everyone enjoyed. I was going to ask you to give this applause afterwards, 
But um, this team deserves to be celebrated and deserves to be listened to. And I'm going to give them again a big applause, and I hope you will join me. Thank you, Thank you. Yeah, a wonderful message. Thank you very much, Serena. Important message as well. Thank you for joining us. Congratulations. You are allowed to take Thank you your so seat much. Again. Thank you. Well deserved award. Absolutely. Still